I'm meteorologist Mark Van Cuso, and on this day in weather history, September 25, 1939, a tropical storm hit Southern California. Also remembered as the Long Beach Tropical Storm, El Cordonazo, and the Lash of St. Francis, this storm remains officially unnamed. It was the only Eastern Pacific tropical system to make landfall in the 20th century. On September 15th, a tropical depression formed off the coast of Central America. It moved west-northwest and then turned northeastward. For a time, it was a Category 1 hurricane. The system lost its intensity just before landfall near San Pedro, California on the 25th. People were caught off guard by the storm, which was described as sudden. Some were still on Long Beach when the winds hit 40 miles per hour. The storm caused record rainfall and heavy flooding in low-lying areas, leaving many dead. Rains washed away a 150-foot section of the Southern Pacific Railroad. People were stranded in their homes, and the streets of Los Angeles were covered with water. The only other known tropical cyclone to directly affect California is the 1858 San Diego hurricane. A preventing factor for California landfall is the water temperature. Due to currents, the waters off California seldom rise above 70 degrees Fahrenheit, which is too cold for hurricanes to sustain themselves. Also, due to the rotation of the Earth, tropical cyclones in the northern hemisphere tend to move east to west. This causes the frequency of a west coast impact to be extremely rare. One positive outcome of the storm was that it ended a heat wave that had lasted for over a week and killed at least 90 people. In response to California's unpreparedness, the Weather Bureau established a forecast office for Southern California. I'm Mark Mancuso.